My name's Sophia, uh, Sophia Lilly from Over Mountain Vineyards. We first visited Sophia Lilly in summer 2021. We toured her family's Polk County wine operation, heard its history, and learned about the grape varieties grown there. A little over a year later, we returned. It didn't take long to notice changes. Changes on the farm, changes in this young farmer. How do you think you've grown? We've definitely, um, as a farm business, we've grown a lot just in our diversity and that's been really inspired by uh, my involvement in Farm Bureau. Um, I've gotten to meet and learn from lots of different farmers and about their operations and how they're able to achieve certain things and we've brought a lot of that back and diversified our farm. Sophia is wrapping up her third year on the State Young Farmers and Ranchers Committee. She gained a year due to COVID in 2020. Extra time to understand North Carolina Farm Bureau. It's a community of people that are fighting all for the same thing, um, regardless of how you feel politically. It's an organization that is very rooted in meaning. Extra time to understand policy. Learning about why policy is important. Um, really learning how every aspect of the industry, from produce to chicken farming to wine grapes to whatever. Extra time to bond with fellow young farmers. The committee that's there now, We've established such great relationships and friendships from our Arizona trip, from our other traveling trips, that once you get to know each other really well and you understand your mission together, our committee right now is so active. We are trying to post as much as we can and we're trying to advocate for ag and trying to educate people on our operations and inviting people to our farms. The extra time has also led to new opportunities for leadership. She now sits on her county board. Our membership is growing, which is great to say. Our county has not always been the most active county, so we're, we're getting a lot more active as far as ag in the classroom and safety days and, um, you know, YFNR. And she's taking time to get involved on a national level. In June, I had the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. for the ACE Summit, which is basically a women's conference put on by the American Farm Bureau. It really gave us an opportunity for women to get together, kind of understand how critical our role in agriculture is, not just as farmers, but as farm wives, as you know, women with voices. So at the ACE Summit, you're given a platform that you feel empowered to have a conversation with people. You are given the resources to be able to have a conversation with someone at, in Washington, D.C. Next stop for Sophia, the AFBF convention. I'm so pumped I get to go to Puerto Rico. She's competing for the Achievement Award. It's a very rigorous process. The application process for the Achievement is, was harder than getting into college. Um, it makes you really think about your place in your life. It asks you your impact on your farm and relationships with the farm and the ownership of the farm. and secession planning, and all these really tough questions. Really tough questions. And it really makes you stop and think about where you are on your farm and um, how you want to make it better and how you want to improve your farming operation. So for me, it's been a fantastic process. I've learned a lot. Um, it's made me refocus. And I really hope I can win that truck. <laughs>